Hello guys, hello and welcome to another flight report. Today, very excited, flying Etihad in first class on the 787 uh, Dreamliner all the way to Geneva. Very excited. I wanted to show you guys the first class lounge, but unfortunately, because of the pandemic, uh, they only opened the business class lounge. But regardless of this, I'm sure today is going to be quite a bit trade and it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's see what first class is like during times of pandemic and how overall Etihad is going to perform. So let's go to the gate and let's head to Geneva. So I remember during lockdown in Bali, I said, after all things to go back to normal, kind of normal, I'm going to treat myself to a first class flight. And today is the day. Air Arabia, an airline that is also still on my list. Uh, to re Anyone has flown them? What's your feedback on them? Let me know in the comment section below. We then started to board the 787-9 Dreamliner and this was also unfortunately the moment of my microphone to die something I only noticed after the flight. So instead of the usual commentary, there will be a lot of voiceover on today's flight. But before I get comfortable in my seat, let me introduce today's sponsor. Where since I started to travel, I use a VPN because I want my data and passwords to be protected and that's one of the many things Surfshark does for me. Plus, you can use them on all your devices. But it also helps me to access all Netflix libraries all around the world. I can also watch the highlights of my favorite football team from anywhere in the world by simply changing my IP address. Um, another good perk, I also save money by finding cheaper flights through Surfshark VPN by changing my location. And the great thing is, you can do the same. If you use the link in the description box below, you will get 83% discount plus three additional months for free. On top of that, you support my channel. Now, let's go back to the review. Once I settled in my seat, I was greeted by some super lovely cabin crew from Serbia. I was offered a welcome drink as well as an Arabic coffee and dates, which is a tradition in the Middle East. Shortly after, we were pushed back and headed for the runway. Let me give you a quick little seat tour. I picked 2A on today's flight and first off the seat is absolutely stunning. On the left you find a couple of USB slots, a basic seat control and your table. I found some noise cancelling headphones, an amenity kit, hygiene kit and a blanket already at my seat. Also to your left you find a little mini bar. To your right you have more seat controls and a remote control for the in-flight entertainment in front of you. The seat also features a small wardrobe in which you find some slippers. The seat also features a huge ottoman in front of you with some more storage since the first class cabin doesn't feature any overhead bins. Overall, the cabin is absolutely stunning. Wellness ambassadors are available to help with then rocketed out of Abu Dhabi and we were rewarded with some beautiful views. You could also see the new airport building which was originally scheduled to open in 2017. Later they said it's going to open in 2019. Now it is 2021 and there's still no fixed opening date and quite frankly Abu Dhabi nor Etihad are in need of a new terminal. After takeoff I was handed a voucher to use the onboard Wi-Fi. A service, for example, Emirates doesn't offer in first class. I was also offered some olives, nuts, and a beverage of my choice. Let me also introduce Etihad's Dreamliner to you. It features 195 seats in economy class, 28 in business, which I reviewed back in 2017 when my reviews were still total cringe. I mean, some people say they still are, but I guess that's something for a different video. Yeah, and eight first class suites complete the rest of the plane. Unfortunately, the Dreamliner doesn't offer a shower spa, unlike the 380.
the seats also come with a sliding door for full privacy and a divider which can be erected in between the middle seats if you don't want to make some new friends. Hey, by the way, why don't you join my Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes, access to my WhatsApp group and very cool monthly Zoom sessions. Check out the link in the description below. Etihad is known for its great catering and as a first class passenger, you can put your own breakfast together. But before I did, I had to try the signature caviar. This little tin of 50 grams of fish eggs will probably cost you around $100 at the shops. If you don't know what caviar is like, let me tell you, it pretty much tastes like the ocean. I decided to have scrambled eggs, king oyster mushrooms, a potato rosti and sausages for breakfast and I loved it. Unfortunately, the breakfast sausage decided to ejaculate its juice all over my jumper when cutting it, leaving some really bad stains. So be aware and don't tell me I didn't warn you. Let's have a look at the amenity kit, which is stocked up with all the basics, including shampoo, conditioner and body lotion. Those items only make sense though when you travel the Airbus A380, which features a shower as well. You will also find a bottle of cologne inside the kit. Because of the pandemic, we also received a hygiene kit. It contained some rubber gloves, which I couldn't get to work. Just kidding, they did fit perfectly fine, but eating caviar with those on wasn't something I really fancied. Instead of a face mask, Etihad puts a snoot scarf into the kit, which looked really cool. But now it is time to introduce my travel buddy and king of slammer time to you, Mr. Will Luxury Travel, who was still vast asleep, recovering from the 27 slammers he had last night. So let's wake him up with, yes, you guessed right, a slammer. Will isn't only good at slammers, though he is pretty good at it, but also creates amazing flight reports. I highly recommend you to subscribe to his channel. Find the link in the description box below. On my way back to my seat, I did a little stop at the lavatory for a loo review. I bet half of your guys' bathroom can't compete with the stunning first-class loo on Edia, including mine. It is beautifully designed, full of classy amenities and everything else you need to have a great time. Etihad definitely passes the loo review. Back at my seat, it was time to show you how spacious and comfortable the flat bed function was and how much I wished to be on a 15 hour flight to LA or Sydney. Also the bedding was absolutely lovely, highly recommended. The in-flight entertainment on Etihad isn't as impressive as you know it from Emirates, but it offers a great variety. Also, the noise-canceling headphones deliver a great sound quality. The in-flight entertainment also features a chat function, which gives you the chance to tell your friend what you really think about his channel. Ninety minutes before touching down in Geneva, I decided to have lunch, thanks to the dine-on-demand concept. I went for the fish, which was incredible, full of flavors and something you would expect to be served in a high-end restaurant. Simply amazing. We 
then started our descent into Geneva and I was blessed with some incredible views of the Swiss Alps. So now lean back and enjoy the views. summarize today's flight, Etihad first class is one of the best in the world and given that I only paid a thousand dollars it was money very well spent even during COVID. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think of today's flight. Support me with a like or check out my Patreon page for great extra perks. Also a big thank you to Will for sharing his travel hack with me. Wherever you're off to guys, have a safe trip and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.